Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Robin. and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we've got a 20 minute booty build workout. We're gonna be working on strength and building those glute muscles, yes. And we're gonna use some heavy weights for today's workout. If you don't have any equipment, however, it's gonna be perfectly doable without, so don't stress. Do it without if you don't have any. Um, I'm using two weights of five kilogram in each hand and then one weight of eight kilogram just to spice things up, especially when we're down on the floor. If you haven't warmed up yet, definitely hit play on the warm up down in my description. Get your body ready to move. Today we've got eight exercises in total, some of them for a minute, 20 seconds rest and others for 40 seconds work because the burn is gonna be real. Let's start to build those glute muscles. Let's do this, I'm ready, here we go. Right, friends, let's get it done. My favorite target of all times, baby, the glutes. I'm gonna grab them to the heavier weight for this one, which is my eight kilogram. We're starting off with a goblet squat. Set your feet shoulder width apart. Drop your butt down to the floor. Push your knees out to your tiny toes and come back up, squeeze your glutes. Let's get it. Weight is in the back of the heels. You got one minute work on this one. Make sure that if you come up, you're not extending your legs, but you unlock them and you keep that slight bend to keep the engagement of the quads, the hemis, and of course, the booty, the glutes. Today is a strength and build workout, no high intensity. And so slow and controlled movement is what we're going for. It's all about the quality of your form today. If you're not using any equipment, these are perfect moves to improve your form and to dig a little deeper to get that burn in. Four, three, two, one, fabulous. 20 second rest in between. And we're grabbing onto the lighter weights or the medium weights, whatever you've got out there. I'm using five kilogram in each hand. They're still pretty heavy for me, personally. They're challenging, but I can handle them definitely. Hips are, uh, feet are hips width apart. Set your feet back into a lunge, coming into a curtsy, back to a lunge, and step it back, do it right away again. 30 seconds on each side. Keep your feet hip width apart as you're stepping back in that lunge, so you're not falling over. Now you're gonna feel the difference of the target in each lunge. Right? When you're stepping back, you feel the quads and the back set of the glutes. And your curtsy, you're feeling the sides of the glutes and hips a little more. Switch for the other side. Wah! Those lunches, damn. Those lunches, damn! <laughs> Not my favorite move. Gotta be honest with you on that. But. Holy shit, they're effective. Three, two, one. So that's what I keep in mind while I'm doing that shit. <laughs> while I'm putting myself through the torture. We're grabbing onto the heavier weight again if you have any difference in each. If you just have one set of weights, that's completely okay. I'm gonna switch to the eight kilograms again. For a dumbbell pull through, set your feet shoulder width apart. The feeling as if they, as if someone has a chain around the bottom of your weight and they're pulling it right between the legs. Come up, squeeze your glutes, explosive up, slowly down. It's almost like a deadlift where you're shifting your hips back, but you're coming a little bit deeper into a squat form. Is it possible that I'm breathless? I think it is. I think it is. Belly button tight, use that core. I love this move, I love the pace. It's slow, it's control, it's building, and it's challenging. Go. Squeeze when you're up. Remember not to extend those knees, but keep that slight bend while unlocking it. Three, two, one, down to the flow. Bring your weight along. And if it's too much, especially on this exercise, if you have some upper body issues, such as lower body, uh, so lower back <laughs> injuries, definitely keep away the weight and just do it without. Set your feet 
hip width apart, lift up in a glute bridge, squeeze your glutes, come back down, bring the hips down, squeeze as you come up. Hold on to your weight though, you know that if you don't hold on to it, Go. it's gonna hurt in your face. Optional, lift your uh, toes off the floor and press the heels down, now lift up. Thank you. Activating the backside of the body, of the lower body even more. I know we're pushing the hips up towards the sky, but the hips under. So you got a straight line from the knee all the way down to the shoulder. Don't over push from the ribs or anywhere near the belly. 10 seconds, y'all. You're doing great. You got that focus in. Three, two, one. Yes. Fabulous. We're gonna bring another weight into the game if you have any, or stick around with that one weight that you've got. I'm changing back to five. Knees come together, come onto one elbow. We're gonna lift up in a clamshell. Weight it this time, flex the toes, bring the hips all the way back down to the floor, lift up. It's 40 second work on this one. 40 seconds each side. You know the drill. If it's too much with the weight added, definitely drop it. This is one of those moves that you're Go. definitely gonna feel it out. Don't forget to bring the hips down to the floor, lift up, hold it for a moment. Really create that momentum. Boom, hold it and drop back down. Three, two, one. Now be prepared. You know the other side is now gonna be pre-exhausted from one side. So shit might burn a little bit more than the first set. That's okay. We're prepared. We got this. Make sure the elbow is stacked underneath the shoulder. Knees are together. Lift up, flex the toes. Get it done. Yes, friends. 40 seconds work on these ones down to the floor. Shit. I feel like having a break, taking a break. But you know, it's 10 more seconds, so might as well push through. Right? Five, four, three, two, one. What? Mm -mm. We're going for a donkey kick. Optional is to do it weighted. So we're gonna grab that weight and squeeze it right there behind the knee by pulling the heel towards the glutes. If weighted donkey kicks are too much, drop the weight and do the exact same move without. Elbows are stacked underneath the shoulder. We're gonna lift up and come back down slowly, belly button tight. If you're working without weight, you can go a little bit quicker if you want to, but don't overdo it on the pace. Focus on the form. Both hip bones pointing down towards the floor, butt cheeks up to the sky, we're halfway. Damn. Flex the toes and pull the heel towards the butt, so you're really squeezing that dumbbell behind the knee. Three, two, one. If you're like, Ro, it's so uncomfortable with that weight behind the knee, welcome to the party. <laughs> For me too. I tell you that, it does not feel cute. But if you're not, if you're wearing shorts, it's gonna be worse. That's, I'll give that to you. Absolutely true. <laughs> Elbows underneath the shoulders. Let's do it, flex the toes. Pull the heel towards the glutes. Slow and control. Remember, if you're working without the weight, you can go a little quicker, but you want to make sure both hip bones are pointing down towards the floor. Butt cheeks up to the sky. Your upper body is still. The great thing about the position on the elbows is that you get a little extra support for your lower back. So use it. Take advantage of it. Four, three, two, one. Damn! One minute break. Yes, please. We do that shit again. One more time. We're out of here. Yow! 
a little dance break, never hurt nobody. I'm gonna have my water break though. Along with the dancing, I'm gonna have my water break. How are you feeling? Are you good? Good. Good. We do that one more time. Now on this final set that we do it, I'm gonna ask you to dig a little bit deeper on however and wherever and whenever you can. All right, so that might mean to you that you're gonna drop deeper in your squats. It might mean that you're gonna grab some heavier weights if you have them laying around. It might mean you're gonna go for more reps, a little quicker, a little stronger, a little more beast. Now we know what's waiting for us. This is the last time. I got no surprises at the end, I promise. 20 seconds on this last rest and let's go. Heavy weight for your goblet squat. For my goblet squat, I'm gonna pick up the pace a little and I'm gonna drop a little bit deeper in the squat. Let's try and see where it takes me. All right, let's get a new little challenge in that last set. Let's go. Remember to squeeze your glutes when you come up. Focus on the booty. Push the knees out to the tiny toes. Don't make them meet in the middle. If you could separate your body weight in percentage, it would be 70% in your heels, 30% in your toes. Halfway. that pace shit's a little tougher on me but it feels damn good I can tell you that what's your challenge on this last set what are you going for three two one fabulous job I love it I love to see you hustle especially when it's with me because doing it together is so much more fun grab on two two weights lunge to curtsy Remember to start off from a hip width distance apart on the feet. Let's go. Drop down, back, down, and lift up. I'm gonna step a little further back on that lunge and just try it, see where it takes me. I reached that point again, breathless. It's those damn lunches, now I know. They do it to me. Three, two, one, switch for the other side. Straight into it. Boy, oh boy. 50 seconds, halfway. Three. Two, one. Oh yes, you did. Oh yes, you did. Heavyweight, dumbbell pull through. Cross between a deadlift and a squat. Grab the weight, feet are shoulder width apart. Let's go. They're pulling that dumbbell in between your legs. You're dropping down, squeeze when you come up. You maintain a straight line from the tailbone to the top of the head. So the spine is completely straight, all right? I'm gonna squeeze a little harder up top. That's my challenge for today on this one. From down, squeeze. Boom, there's your target. Hello, glutes. seconds make it fierce make it fierce make it one to remember gorgeous I love how you show up for the work I admire you for that squeeze down on the floor I really do you're my type of people <laughs> I'm your type of people Set your feet hip width apart. Remember, if you want a little extra challenge, lift the toes off the floor, press the heels down. Here we go. Fuego, fuego time. Squeeze the glutes. If you need extra support, bring 
the entire foot down on the floor. And on top of that, lose the weight. Especially with lower back issues, take care of yourself. You don't have to get it all right the first time, but you have to take care of your body. Let that be your priority. Yes, we're working. Yes, we're training. Yes, this is tough. Yes, this is uncomfortable. And at the same time, yes, this is taking care of yourself. Listen to your body. Don't let your ego lead you through the workout. Let your body speak. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you did. I'm gonna switch to that lighter weight again for the clamshell. <laughs> Damn clamshell. Don't look at me like that. I know. This was your idea anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do it because I care. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Let's go. 40 seconds work. I do this because I care. Flex the toes. I'm breaking that serious sweat. And I love that point. More than halfway, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What? Damn! Damn! Switch to the other side. You know it's gonna happen. Go. I mean, you knew it from the start. We're gonna do both sides. I wait till that last second. That's the type of person I am. Let's go. <laughs> You're not gonna see me move before those 40 seconds actually start. I'm abusing my rest moments in a good way. Fifteen seconds. That means we're more than halfway. And that means I'm gonna try not to take a break to the very end of it. Shit. Mm, three, two, one. Oh, damn. Damn. Last exercise. We're gonna do it both sides. Donkey kick. Placing that weight right there behind the knee. Squeeze it by pulling the heel in. Elbows down on the floor. Let's get it done slowly. Remember, you can always release the weight and do it without. Both hip bones pointing down to the floor. Now the benefit of using the weight is that you gotta take control over that form or else that dumbbell is gonna fall, right? So because we're so slow and so focused, the form definitely improves a lot. Five, four, three, two, one. One more side. We're almost there, I can't believe it. And I said 20 minutes at the start. Well, it's 21, just FYI. <laughs> Is that one extra minute we've been working, baby? Ready? Let's go. Go. The knee is stacked underneath the hip on that supporting leg, just like we usually do on a donkey kick. bones pointing down to the floor. This is where I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. It's the last little bit, baby. Four, three, two, one. Yes, you freaking did. Ha! Take a breath. Ah, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Breathe, sit up tall, be proud of yourself. Tell yourself, holy shit, I showed up 
I did the work and I made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much. Don't forget to cool down or if you're into hitting another episode, definitely go down in my description. You're going to find my favorite combination mix and match with this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Take care of your body. I hope to see you real soon. I hope to see you at elevatebyrowan.com for more classes, free classes, full length, lots of sweat. And otherwise, I'll see you here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Take care.